Howdy folks, Max Caveman here, bringing you back to Not For Trade, a series where I open up various TCG products, trying to build the most expensive folder that I can, as if I was a kid building up their first collection. As you can see, today we have an Electrode B box. Um, oh, this is the Electrode, Hisuian Electrode B, and then the Electrode um, with the single strike. Uh, that belongs to Single Strike. So let's have a look at this. Um, this is something that I'm opening because the Electrode does have a fairly interesting deck in for it. But um, just a quick recap for the previous episode. Uh, ends up with quite a few cards uh, into the folder. Um, Definitely was not expecting them, um, but a lot of them do quickly lose their value between me recording and today. Uh, stuff like the uh, Chen Pao made it in, Volcanion. Um, definitely got the Larry in there, so that was a big good card. Uh, maybe we can get some luck today. We do have um, some good sets. Um, some really good high rarity stuff. Uh, chances are I won't pull it, so we'll just wait and see what we get. Okay, so here are the two promos. We have the Electrode from Fusion Strike. This is an alternate printing with the splash foil. And we have the Electrode V. Now this is a very interesting card for the Tantrum Blast Attack. There's 100 damage for each special condition applied to it. Um, this is just um, got in the, some really good support with the, uh, what is it, uh, Brute Bonnet from Paradox Rift. So this is actually going to be usable in some decks. Uh, that being said, we have four packs here. We got one Brilliant Stars. Two Lost Origins and one Astral Radiance. So let's get this cracking. Uh, let's see. Let's start with the Brilliant Stars. Now this has been sitting on the shelf at my local game store for quite a while now. Um, but because of this new deck, it's just something that I wanted to pick up. Starting off with, we have a Fire Energy, Hunting Gloves, Floatzel, got a Staravia, Nosepass, Snowrunt, Baltoy, Mencino, Chimcha. We got a Trainer's Gallery de Dene and a Golurg. Now, this is one of the more common Trainer Gallery cards, I feel like. Um, some of them do have quite a high price for what they are. Um, so we'll see how that one goes. Next up, we've got one pack of Astral Radiance. Uh, I'll just do three for now. Okay, so we've got a Dartrix Driftblim. Got a Trekking Shoes, very nice card. I will put that aside. We've got a Quillfish, Basculin, Poochiana, Glamial, Yanma, Reverse Heracross, and an Ursa Luna. There's the energy at the back. Uh, so moving on to the two packs of Lost Origins. So this is... Going to be quite interesting. I, will, I won't reveal that. Um, Lost Origins could have some good cards with like the Lost Box stuff, so we'll see. Got a Torko, Nuzleaf, Hariyama, got a Wormpool, got a Murkrow, Binacle, a Ghastly, Electric, Reverse NK, and we do get a Hollow with a Pyro. So that's actually something quite interesting. 
a lot of these sets do just have a certain rarity that you kind of have to beat to have some value, um, which is not the best thing. Uh, but we have an Erisu here, Torkoal, Nuzleaf, Ducklets, Ghastly, Litleo, Mianfu, Shellos, Wurmple, and we got a Galarian Perserker V. Um, so that's it for this opening. Uh, there's not too much that would be of value in this set. Um, I do know the Electro does have a little bit of a price to it, um, which is sort of why I bought this product specifically. Uh, but we'll have to see where the Dedene and the Perserker falls. Um, in my opinion, the Trek and Shoes might hold some value. It is a card that a lot of people do like to play. But I have been wrong many times about prices of cards, so we'll have to see. And that being said, that's the end of this video. Hopefully you are enjoying the series. Hopefully I'll get to see you again next time, but until then, have a good one, folks.